Alright, welcome back. I know I said I wasn't going to come back here for a little bit, but it wasn't that far. And I want to make use of this King's Mark in case there are any, like, secret ending goody deals with, like, you know, fucking Vendrick wannabe. And this tomb down here. It's going to take me to the uh, the darkest dungeon. Let's see what this says one more time. Oh, it did the thing! Our pure vessel has ascended. Beyond lies the only refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer, but I shall enter. For I am the king. I am the true. The true king. The true... Dark soul, if you will. And I had a frame drop. Right there. Oh, man. All kinds of buggery dudes. And this is like a huge... A huge... A huge thing. It is so big. It's like, oh, this is some fucking, some four king shit. You know, this, here, come jump into this black pit of, of blackness. Let us know how that goes. <laughs> Along with, here are some very easy enemies to give you soul. Because you're obviously going to need this. There's a bunch of spikes over there, and I'm assuming if we, like, super dash across, that's gonna be that. That is my assumption. Getting out of here is gonna be a little difficult, too, it seems like. Oh, wait, we can... Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's get all this Geo so we can lose it. Oh, that... There we go. I love this. This is so helpful. Uh -huh. More Geo. Sure. Just to lose all of it in a little bit. And I was thinking more about it too. I forgot to finish the last video or whatever with this. Whichever one where I fought the Lost Kin. And what I was noticing with that is the reason you don't leave a shadow or something, a corpse, not only is it just really intelligent design, it makes sense uh, in the universe because you're in a dream. That's not your physical body getting beat to shit. That's just like your, your astral projection. Oh, ho ho. Plus one for the, the double jump right there. <laughs> Whew. I should have went and fought the king. I'm, or what I'm assuming is fighting the king, because this is, this is sketch scary. I feel like I'm going to the underworld right now. And I can't really get back if I make this jump. Actually, I can. Okay. There's one of us right here. Doesn't matter. It looks like us, right? Just sitting there. It's another vessel. Maybe they had little tournaments where little vessels like us had to fight their way out here to determine who was strongest. I don't have to kill any more bugs. I don't have to, but I might. Oh. <sighs> The platforming isn't looking too hard to get out of here, but it's still not looking like a free picnic. I'm wondering if those little bugs have something to do with what's going on in here. I'm sure they do. If I read the journal, it's probably going to be like the larval state of Hollow Knights or whatever like we are. Yeah, just more corpses. Got some cool looking helmets. This one! This is too real, man. Too real. I just got spooked. So hard right there. The Abyss. Of course it's the Abyss. Just, of course. Like, literal Four Kings level... ...stuff. I really don't want to touch the bottom here. Dark spirits. I don't even know what they're gonna do. Are they like humanity? Are they gonna come touch us? Yeah, I got super spooked a second ago because the moment it said the abyss or whatever on the screen, on my other monitor, I'm getting pop ups. Because I have a friend that's trying to talk to me about some stuff. 
<laughs> no Geo, but probably a good source of soul here. Oh my god, this place is the creepiest. I'm wondering if we kill something down here and that opens all the the black walls, the abyss looking walls. Or if we just get a power down here, that's what I'm assuming. I need to pause for a sec. Alright, hopefully we're good. Hopefully those notifications aren't getting picked up by sound. Which they might be. I'm just jumping and swinging. This looks like Snake Man's boss room. He's just got the little thing in the middle. Nothing. There's gonna be something here at some point, I'm certain. Maybe I had to go kill the... Or go fight the king or something. I'm assuming you can fight him. He looks like he wants to get fought. So I don't know. We can dash out here. JK. You know, the purpose of the dashing is putting color on screen, you know? Instead of looking at all this just black, gray, and white, we can look at some pink for a minute. And then hopefully this is something. Otherwise, we can't do anything here yet. I'm not going to write this place off. Not at all. Oh. Just fuck you, man. Jeez. Oh. My heart can't take it, man. <laughs> this is too... This is too much. This is probably the first side you have to go in, if any. Is that... Can't tell if, like, that's the sound in the, the game getting louder. I have my window open. So it could be in the game, or it could be a lawnmower down the block. Who knows? I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you guys. You wanna come hug me? They look like they wanna hurt me. I don't know. Is this a tram? I, oh god, I don't want to. Oh. Oh, I don't wanna dash over that either. Not yet. Oh. Ooh. I am so fucking edged out right now. So creeped. Just trying to aggro him. I saw that one look like it spawned over there. Out of the darkness. I gotta itch my nose really bad. Alright, itch successful. Or scratch, I should say. You know, with all the people that get on other people about grammar and stuff like that, I'm surprised there aren't people who, when you say I have to itch this, they go, you mean scratch? <laughs> or type like scratch asterisk. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get a timestamp for like, whenever I said that, like nine something. Like, you mean scratch asterisk? Like, no bitch. I mean itch. That's not true. You're not a bitch. Whoever you are in the future that I'm planning around. You're beautiful. Just hit all the switches, don't question it. Never question the switch. It's like sunlight? Soul light? I shouldn't have hit that. I'm sorry. That's weird. <laughs> it's an interesting interaction. Is there music? Yeah, there is. I wonder if this is like a projector. Or something, and this is a movie over here, but we can't see it because we're in the 2D. Two dimensional. Yeah. Odd. You know what? We can't turn this back off, so it's on. We have to live with our consequences. Pretty sure that's just like, don't jump over me, spikes. Does that do anything? Does that wake up the king? I don't know what this does, man. Got a lot of unanswered shit. 
because we're a silent protagonist. Can't really do much about it. I know y'all want me to just straight dash out of here. I gotta be honest, I'm fucking terrified. So, I don't want to just do the, the dash into the unknown. But what we will do is dash up here. Oh my god. No, don't get me. Whatever you are, a little spooky stuff. Maybe that gets rid of the, the goop monsters. Because it puts light onto the thing or something. Oh my god, my heart is just slamming my chest right now. <laughs> so I'm wondering if this is all just optional. I'm also wondering if that thing that we turned on, I wonder if that's gonna... There's a thing right there. I need the power to cut darkness. And then I can open that shit. I wonder if I can super dash over it. Oh. I don't like this man. Okay. Oh, Chozo statue. Let me just bathe in here real quick. Alright. <laughs> no! I became the darkness. Shade cloak. RT to dash forward, cloaked in shadow. Use the cloak to dash through enemies and their attacks without taking damage. Oh, that's fucking good. You see here... Okay, can't get back there. But this is what I'm telling you. We had all our normal powers, and now we're getting a bunch of shade powers. You know. Just becoming the true Hollow Knight. That's so cool. That's going to help me, too. Oh, wait, can you... Oh, it has a cooldown. There you go. That's a cool graphic. Alright, so you can't just, like, put on Dash Master and get the Shade Cloak and then endlessly not get hit by anything. That would be a little broken. Alright, so I get that. Does it work with the Crystal Dash? Nope. But you know what? I wonder if anything happens up here now. We'll try this one time. But you see, we got a power-up, which is nice. We always like getting power-ups, even if they're creepy as fuck, but that's... There's something going on. Because, like I said, all of our powers were, you know, good and soul and white, and now everything is becoming shade. Every single thing. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Alright, we'll go check the other side. And what I like is that this game doesn't just throw endless bosses and shit at you, which isn't normally like a, a horrible thing to do, but I like that the dreamers aren't bosses. They have bosses before them sometimes, like the teacher had a boss before her. And I can't remember if the beast did. The beast just had a hard area. And then the last one... If you want to count Soul Master, you can. Otherwise, not really, you know? But I've liked that. And then here, this place is creepy as hell. I'm on edge and nervous the entire time. And there aren't, like, dumb bosses just in the middle of it. You know, I'm not walking into a room and all of a sudden a giant boss comes out of the darkness. Yet, you know? Maybe now, quote me later. But, uh. What is it? That's good for the reason that, in this case, it's making the environment itself kind of the star. You know, the environment itself is the boss. It's creepy. And being scared to go on is enough. Or, you know, being hesitant to go on is doing more for me than fighting a boss. Because the moment I fight a boss, I'm not going to be as nervous in the area, if that makes sense. Like, if I fight a boss, I'm going to know exactly where it is. I'm going to know that's the major threat. There's nothing that's going to come jumping out at me. There might be a couple, like, minor enemies, but they won't be a big deal, because I already fought the boss. You know, that takes away all the tension in the zone. And now... What this has done... 
is the whole environment has been really tense, and my tension is starting to lessen a little bit here and there. Because I've gotten a power up, I turned on some shit. Okay, that didn't do anything either. I'm wondering if we fight the king and then that's something, or if you get something later. Because that is obviously a thing. You know, it looks like a pedestal to hold an item, or it could be a boss room. You know, it could be either of those things. But it's whatever it is, it is not there yet. And so we'll have to deal with that later, which is fine. You kind of expect backtracking in this game. And now we get to have fun trying to leave, and the enemies, besides the bugs, have been the shades, and the shades haven't really been like too threatening. There you go. I like that upward slash when you're on the ground because or just in general because I'd rather get knocked down than like sideways which is what was happening when I was on the platform so I try not to do that if I can. <laughs> yeah I'm pretty hungry I know but I'm officially on summer. I'm done with all my finals. Took my chem final, which, even though I stopped, you know, putting effort into that class, it's really surprising how easy it looked. Because it was multiple choice, because for some reason they give my chem teacher. Because I took her for a full year, you know, I took two different classes with her. And last year, they did the same thing where grades are due on, like, Saturday. And her final is Thursday, so it's like, how can she correctly grade, you know, correctly and fairly grade finals for three classes or whatever, two or three classes in two days? You know, how can you put any meaningful effort into those finals, or, you know, that grading in that situation? Hornet. Alright, let's finish the story real quick. And so, last semester... She did a 50 question final. They're all multiple choice. And out of the 50 questions, I want to say like maybe 20 to 25 were actually like heavily math based. And if you've ever taken a chem class, some of the math can take a while, even though it's just simple algebra and formulas. Sometimes it could take like five minutes, you know, five, three, five, ten minutes to do a problem. Especially if you're not like 100% amazing at everything. And so you go, you know, 20, 25 questions of that, that's, you know, like 100 minutes around. And you only have an hour and 20 minutes, which is, and you have 120 minutes, you have two hours, 120 minutes to do the final. So you're seeing here, like, you have to be really quick at most of it, or like you have to snap pick all of the concept ones where you're talking about like if this is this and what happens here when you don't have to do the math you have to be really quick at those and I think she understood that because this time the final was 25 questions which is already half you still have the same two hours and it only out of 25 questions it only had about like nine ish nine or ten that were like hardcore math so everyone was done in about an hour and ten minutes that's when a lot of people were getting up which is good. That's how it should have been before, and it was a lot easier than the last one. I remember when we took the first one, we were all sitting there for two hours, and no one no one left early, and everyone looked stressed out, and everyone was like at the wire finishing, and this time people were just comfortably getting up, and that's what a final should be, I feel like. I mean, I think that's what a test should be in general. Too many teachers try and shove, like, if you have an hour to do a test or an exam or something, they put like an hour and a half's worth of content in there. My voice cracked. My I'm talking too much. Alright, let's, uh, Ghost, I see you face the place of your birth, and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow. Though our strength is born of similar source, that part of you, that crucial emptiness, I do not share. So is she born down here too? Or it says that, sh that uh, our strength is born of similar source. Oh, I had to take a sip real quick. Uh, so mine is born of shadow and darkness and stuff like that. And maybe hers is the same thing where it's darkness, or maybe hers is 
just soul, but they're like so close together. You know, kind of a Dark Souls deal. Where you have soul and humanity. I don't know. Funny then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong our world's stasis or face the heart of its infection. Totally Dark Souls. I'd urge you to take that harder path, but what end may come, the decision rests with you. So I could either prolong the stasis, so there are two confirmed endings at least, prolong the stasis or fight the infection, which we'll probably try and fight the infection. So up Hornet, it faced the void and descends unscathed. Could it unite such vast darkness? We are the Dark Soul. Hornet, really cool letting us slap her with a, a dream nail right there. Okay. This is really cool. I'm loving this, what you call it, this uh, level design, the story design. I mean, you can always tickle me with some, some Dark Souls. Oh, it says Ancient Basin this time. That's right. Yeah, you can always tickle me. Oops. With some Dark Souls style storytelling where it's like, are we good or are we bad? And we have a choice and we have like the entire game, you're just kind of given crumbs. It's a big mystery that you had to unravel if you're paying attention, which we will probably do a lore episode if we, uh, or when we open the last dreamer. Maybe that'll be a big deal. And I saved right there just to, just to do it. Not that it really matters. I'm gonna go see what's up with the uh... dogs. No, dog barks. You have to mute. Oh, geez, just casually walking away for ten minutes while I have to deal with everything. It was about eight minutes. I don't know. So I don't know where my video time is at right now. I think it was at like 22 minutes or something when I stepped away. I gotta double check the palace grounds. Wait, what? What? No, this is right. Okay, I was like, why the f hell does it look like I'm under it now? I thought I took the wrong path for a sec. Alright, I am a king as well. I mean, is he going to say the same thing with the armor? I don't want to, like, inspect it with the armor and then not get the lore. So let's just slap. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm the true king. The true king of Gondor. What the hell is that? Oh well. Later, y'all. Alright, so I think we're basically done down here for a while. I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I even got the cool power and stuff like that, which was nice. Which was worth coming back for, so if you're in my shoes, please do it. And... We spent like three videos down here now. <laughs> and we have to decide wh Whoa! Oh, that's what... Jeez, that place was big. Yeah, and that's what was added to the uh, the map, and you can see this probably isn't on a map. If I go to the map, you see there's no like thing at the bottom. But then you do this, and there it is. So we were born under the kingdom, pretty close to Deepness, Kingdom's Edge, and some shit. You know, and you can tell that like. If you look at the corruption coming from the ancient basin or whatever, Deep Nest is kind of fucked. The Kingdom's Edge is kind of fucked. And then you see it like... I don't know, it starts spreading upwards. And you have like... If you want to go geographically, you know, if there is an infection down here or something like that, it could spread into the waterways, which can infect the city or something. And then you got the fungal waste nearby, so it's like... If it's a water-based infection, you could see where it would come in. Or if it's a fungal infection, it's like right there. And then you can see the farther away you get, the nicer 
places are. Like, the resting grounds is kind of fine. They're not contaminated, it looks like. Maybe they are. Green Path is lush. You had a town up here. Crystal Peak kind of doing its own thing. So, yeah, I think we're done. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up fast. Next time, probably Crystal Peak. I'm gonna head there between videos, and then we'll go to Soul Sanctum at some point. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.